So here we have a pair of Nike Air Footscape Woven Rainbow. So this particular trainer is a bit of a Marmite sneaker. I always want to sort of check it out and see what it's about really. And uh, it just looks different to the norm. And I, I like that in all honesty and just uh, trying different sneakers and, and different types of tech. Makes it interesting for me anyway. And uh, it's the, like I said, the Nike Air Footscape Woven and it's a Summit White and it's basically like a multicolored version which is called the Rainbow. And the, this particular iteration of the uh, Footscape was originally released in 2009, so with this one it being more of a, I suppose, lifestyle sort of trainer compared to what was originally released, I think back in 96, I think it was. Uh, that model was made more for sort of performance and running, uh, but then it was adapted more for sort of lifestyle wear, especially in the Japanese market. Uh, the Japanese market seemed to, you know, like these types of trainers and were more I suppose popular over there and had a bit of a sort of cult following as well by the sounds of it and this particular trainer sort of when it was built it was sort of focused on dynamic and flexibility and natural movement of your foot so usually on your foot on the top you have like your sort of nerves and arteries sort of running down and you know the, the muscular uh, aspect of your foot and for that reason what they did was create this sort of asymmetrical lacing system which i've seen on other trainers as well i have a pair of nike freeze that have this kind of asymmetrical lacing and it allows sort of more sort of natural movement on foot and also provides sort of less pressure on the forefoot which is really nice uh, in all honesty and especially sort of when i was like wear testing these and just uh, you know had them on for the on feet portion of the video and it just feels really nice and you know there's no sort of pressure there on your forefoot which is sometimes what you get with certain laces lace type sneakers especially if you sort of wear them tight and these were originally designed by uh, a guy called uh, Torin Orzek who originally created the Air Mock and also the Foam Posit Tech so it means that you know he was obviously at the sort of forefront of this kind of technology and kind of wanted to basically make shoes I suppose more accessible and this seems to be one of them So with the details, like I said earlier, it comes in a semi white color. Uh, the black is on the outsole. And then you also got a sail, which I can't see too much of on, on the trainer in all honesty. But I imagine that's kind of running throughout the, the woven parts and maybe the midsole, but in the light, I can't see it being sail in all honesty. But, uh, and then the multicolor is the actual woven pattern going across. So it's one of those trainers that is, uh, I suppose, like I said, a bit of a marmot sneaker. And I had a look online to see what kind of tech this has in there and it's sort of saying it has a file on midsole. So it feels quite sort of firm to the touch, but when you have it on feet, it feels really sort of nice and sort of soft and gives you a lot of support. I can sort of see here, it's almost got this sort of boost like quality and I wouldn't say there's any kind of rebound effect. There's, you know, it's very little, but it does feel very sort of neutral and very sort of comfortable on foot. So if you're sort of wearing these all day long, you know, similar to I suppose a, a 990 series, uh, New Balance, I guess, you know, it's, it works in that sort of area, in that sort of realm. And uh, apparently what they, what they say with these particular trainers is they have a, a leather enforcement heel. So I imagine it's this area in the back here that they've got some sort of uh, lining going on that al allows for that. Uh, it kind of sort of described it as being in the midsole, but I wouldn't be so sure of that because you can't see anything there. So I imagine it's the, the, the mean on, on the back of the heel. And like I said earlier, that's the, the selling point for this particular strain is the asymmetrical uh, lacing system, as well as obviously the woven pattern. But it's a you know cool look, I suppose, and different to the norm. And this one is made up of all suede and synthetic upper materials. So you can sort of see here, this is a suede. It's not really a brushy suede, but you know it feels quite sort of smooth and nice to the touch, almost sort of new bucky material. But it's got this kind of rough cut on it. Uh, which I don't think is cracked leather. Um, to me, it doesn't look like cracked leather, but it's got some, you know, uh, size texture on there. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's furry in any way. Uh, it's almost like an unfinished suede, I guess, or slightly, it's almost like a, a roughed up suede. And the price on these is £140. So with the comfort and sizing, these are on the sort of medium to firm side, in my opinion. It's not like they don't feel uncomfortable. Like I said earlier, they feel more like a New Balance sneaker, so I kind of like that. You get a little bit of a, you know, sort of soft, sort of cushiony effect going on in the heel, and it does feel nice on foot, so I wouldn't say it's like too bad. Uh, and that's that's why I sort of say medium firm, because it isn't too much to give to the sole, but it doesn't feel like uncomfortable on foot. It actually feels quite nice and supportive. 
if you're using it for lifestyle then you have to be wary that you know your heels can look slightly elevated not as much as an air max one but you might get a little bit of pressure on your forefoot and true to size works on these i went half size up with this particular pair just to kind of see the difference and uh, if i was to go back and get them again i'd go true to size but uh the size they they haven't got in that particular size so you know so i'm kind of stuck with having it half size up it's not too bad because my toe comes to about here I prefer it to come to about here really because there's quite a lot of flex within the woven pattern that allows you to, you know, I suppose be more comfortable in the, in the trainer because it doesn't sort of kind of lock you in. And uh, there's no wear in time, even though it's got this sort of suede, sort of soft leather material on top, there's no wear in time because as you can sort of see, the woven pattern on here provides a lot of flex, uh, especially on the forefoot area and around the sides. So for that, res that in that respect, it's one of those sort of sneaker shoes that you know you'll be fine to sort of be wearing sort of good you know good to go out of the box really and i also think they would have great ventilation so you can see this woven pattern it kind of serves as a i suppose semi um you know covering the sneaker itself but because of the woven pattern you do get sort of the air holes breathing through it and that's originally what this was made for is to kind of give you a sort of ventilation and these also have pretty good grip so it's using the the signature nike waffle pattern and I kind of, you know, think it's fine. It's not going to be amazing, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're wearing a more sort of casual wear, smart casual wear, then you'll be fine with these. So with the look and style, I do like the neutral colours on this. I kind of uh, like these sort of almost sort of grey uh, hints on the trainer on the upper. Most of it's sort of made up of this grey material. And then you've got the woven rainbow details, which is quite nice. And usually you know with these kind of details they may look a bit sort of an eyesore but i think because of the upper being in this sort of gray color that it allows it to shine a bit more and not too not too loud but at the same time it you know gives a bit of a character to the sneaker and as i said earlier i think these is good for sort of spring summertime they feel quite lightweight on feet and the fact that they're breathable uh, even though they're uh, i suppose a leather suede type sneaker it's uh, one of those ones where you know you're good to go and especially sort of more in the uh, sort of smart casual end um, you know you can sort of rock these instead of shoes and that's pro primarily what I'll be using them for is mainly uh, I suppose if I'm going out sort of smart casual type wear then this is a good one to have as an option especially if you don't like wearing shoes like me and it comes with white laces but you can also dump in some uh, grey laces in here but in all honesty I think any colour would work on this because of it being multicolour so with the final thoughts I like the rainbow woven details on this I think it looks cool and uh, like I say, I think if this was in black, it would probably make it look a bit more brighter than it probably needs to be. And also like the asymmetrical lacing system. I know some people may not be a fan of this and it does make the sneaker look strange at the same time from a top down view. But I actually kind of like the way it looks and also like the way it feels. So that's more, you know, more of a win, especially if you don't like wearing shoes. And uh, like I said earlier, it's good for lots, you know, sort of smart casual. So that's kind of primarily how I'd be using these particular trainers. But there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to use them for lifestyle wear. You know, they're good to sort of go for, you know, if you're going to work and that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, they give you more of a, a smart casual kind of vibe. Uh, in terms of cons, I suppose the silhouette isn't for everyone. It's a, you know, strange looking silhouette in the respect of, you know, it's not like a standard sneaker or, or a shoe. It's kind of like this hybrid in between. Uh, however, I like it, you know, and I think it works well, in my opinion. And in terms of the other con, I think the cost at £140 is, is asking a lot of money for what, what you're getting. And uh, I know it's got this sort of woven pattern on there and that probably takes some time to sort of manufacture. However, there isn't too much tech in this, so uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's an air unit in there because it doesn't feel like there is. Uh, so for that reason, I think the cost on these is too high. I would probably be happier paying, I suppose, £100, £110. Obviously, I'll pick these up and sell for £75, so it's a bit different, but I wouldn't be paying £140 for them. So with the look and style, I do like the, the way they look and that's why I've given it a 4 out of 5. I think it's not a perfect looking sneaker. I like the fact that it's different to the norm and you know just a bit out there and especially with this sort of multicolour woven detail. And the comfort, I'll give it a 4. It's not like the top premium comfort but you know in all honesty it's not one of those trainers that you know you're going to feel like horrible you know like wearing all day and it's one of those ones where like I say similar to like a New Balance 990 series it you know it's one of those trainers that you can comfortably wear all day and not have any issues because it's not too soft and it's not too hard and the quality i give that a five i think um you know for me the suede isn't the greatest of quality but i like the way the sneak is constructed 
I like the way it's all being put together and it feels quite sort of you know premium and there's no sort of glue stains and things like that and I, like I say the woven pattern is a bit of a detailing that you don't normally see on trainers and probably took, takes a long time to do as well uh, and like I say the pricing one for, for me is on the high side so I think uh, that's why I've given that three out of five I think for me it's one of the where areas where I think it sort of fails and overall I'll give the score a four out of five I think it's a, a cool sneaker and like I say it's not for everyone I know that but you know if you're looking for something different and you're looking for something more like shoes but want to stand out a bit then this is like perfect in all honesty because it gives you that sneaker vibe but also being more sort of on the smart casual end.